Why? KPM. Why? Because it was not in its place? Why not? My entire life, I've seen people throwing bags of fast food, plastic bags, straws, scattered upon the roads. Why would someone do that? Because the Mother Earth takes care of it? No, it's not just about that. Mother Earth is fighting back. Can't we all just get together? Let us start thinking, stay united, stay focused on how to save the planet. We are doomed in this planet if we just don't stop. Let's do something to protect the planet before it's too late. TV KPM Hello everyone you are now watching Menengah Rendah or lower form on Didik TV KPM together with me Sean Steven as your host of course our subject for this lesson will be in English and what exactly are we learning today but more importantly who are our teachers let's have a look at their profile Our teacher for today is, of course, Madam Farah. Hi, Madam Farah. How are Hi, you? Hi, Sean. Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Thank you, Sean. All right. And we also have our interpreter that is none other than Teacher SL. Hi, Teacher SL. <laughs> All right. And I believe it's not just the two of well, if we count our interpreter as well. It's not just the three of us, but there are also some pupils who are online right now. Let's see who yes. they are. Hi, everyone. We have... Ku Siti Nur Dania Ku Azman. Hi Ku. Next we have Muhammad Haris Iman bin Hamizat. Hi Iman. Next we have Muhammad Ibnu Hafiz bin Muhammad Faizal. Hi Ibnu. And last but not least we have Zurain Zarith Sofia binti Al Jaba. Hi Zarith. Hello everyone. And of course I have a very important question for each and every one of you. Are you ready for our lesson for today? Give me a thumbs up if you are. All right, okay. everyone is ready. So what exactly are we learning today? All right, Sean. Today we are going to expose on how to write an informal email writing. All right. Well, of course, we mm -hmm. are focusing on wonders of nature. Okay. So that is what we're going to do today, Sean. All right. So shall we begin? Of course. Let okay. us start. All right. Now, today we are going to focus on writing, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yep. And everyone, please open up your textbook and turn to page 31 of your textbook, yeah? So we're going to do Wonders of Nature, Unit 3. And later on, Sean, we're going to have our practice done by our students on how to write the email, ah, informal email, all right. right, specifically. Mm -hmm. Now, our objective for today is definitely to focus on our main skill, that is a writing on how to communicate with appropriate language, form and style. Besides that, we will also have our learning standard main skill, which is also writing, where pupils begin to use formal and informal registers appropriate to the target audience in familiar situations. Now, specifically, informal email writing, guys. Now, of course, Sean, we have to always remember we can never go wrong, inshallah, with our mom, mix or match. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. this will be the idea generator that helps so many pupils out there on how to generate their ideas within Ooh. 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Yes, because we have 30 minutes for our, our all writing practices and tasks mm -hmm. in exam. All right? So, first of all, we will have white color, and white color represents true story or facts. Besides that, we have yellow color. Now, let me just ask any one of the students, anyone who can answer me, what does yellow color represent? Anyone? Can I try, madam? Yes, okay, Haris. What does yellow color represent, Haris? Yellow represents positivity. Positivity advantages. All the good things will be under yellow. So the next color will be black. 
Now, black shone represents the opposite of positivity, that is, of course, negativity. Oh. Challenges, dif uh, disadvantages, problems, right? Now, the next one will be green. Now, what does green color represent, girls and boys? Anyone? Okay, Can cool. Can I answer, madam? Yes, cool. What does green color represent, cool? Cool? Green represents ideas, solving problems and suggestions. Exactly, spot on. Green represents ideas, suggestions to overcome the problems mentioned by black. Now, the next color will be red. That is feeling and emotions. And last but not least, blue color is always for conclusion, sharing your wish and your hopes. So having said that, Sean, with mm -hmm. all these six colors, students will be incorporating together with these sentence connectors, linking with and cohesive devices when it comes to writing. Yeah. Now, the next one, Sean, we are going to focus on our email writing specifically. So the first part is, of course, for that pupils out there to be aware of how to write an email writing with email address and of course the subject line which is the title next will be the greeting and the opening line which they will be executing it today the next one will be the content with which covers situation and task and last but not least they will conclude their email with closing line and of course their name signed on it Okay, Sean. Alright. So this will be just a, a framework of what we are about to do today. Now, what we are going to have for this part is pupils out there will be given two situations mm -hmm. and they need to decide what would be their opening line and what would be their closing line. So they will be working in pairs, Sean. Okay. Yeah? So let me just explain to all of you out there on what opening lines are and what closing lines are. Now, short, opening line and closing line. Opening line is just to um, have where you wish to hook the readers. Ah, you yes. need to captivate the reader's attention on mm -hmm. the purpose of writing your email. Okay. Now, that goes under opening line. So, what about closing line? It is an idea of ending your email. Yes. All right? Yes. So, let me just give you an example. Mm -hmm. um, these are uh, combinations of uh, opening lines for both formal and informal. Yeah? Okay. So, these are some of the examples. It is always good to hear from you. How are things going? How have you been? And you can just look on the screen, people. How are things with you and your family? So, these are just some of the examples of what you should write for opening lines. Now, having said that, if you notice, Sean, mm -hmm. I have I'm, I'm, can't. So that shows for informal email writing, ah, yeah. we accept contractions. Okay. All right. Yeah. So example of contractions would be just be, it is always, you can always write it as it's. How are things? It can always be written as how or how have you been can be also written as how. But Sean, mm -hmm. I always like to remind the pupils out there, be careful when you write because contractions are not allowed when it comes to normal writing such as article, report and etc. Only for, e for informal email writing. Okay, so now, having said that, this will be our closing line. Some examples of informal and formal closing line. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got to go now. I would better get going. Don't forget to drop me a line soon. Give my love to, keep me updated. Make sure you write soon. Anyway, that's all for now. Write again soon. Send my regards to. Well, of course, I'm sure all of you have so many other better ways to close your email, am I right? So these are just some of the good ones to add in the list. So, Sean, what yes. are we supposed to do? So just look at the contractions that I've mentioned. I, I, and don't. Now, girls and boys, are you ready? So this is your task. We are going to give them a situation, Sean. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... Having said that, they have already uh, aware of the list of closing line and opening line. Let us just see whether they can uh, execute this effectively, efficiently with the situation given. So now, can I have someone to read out the question? Anyone? Loud and clear. Over to you. Who is that? Madam, can I read the situation? Okay, go Zari. Read the situation, please. Hi, I am presenting for my school English project and it will be on the safety precautions 
after the heavy flood we had last year in Shah Alam. I need your advice to make it a lively one. Pina. Thank you, Zarid, also known as Pina. Okay, <laughs> so now, Sean, from the question, pupils, you must be able to identify these two crucial elements. And what are they, Sean? The situation and also the task. Okay. So, now, what can be the situation from this question? So, the situation is safety precautions, flood. So, that will be the situation. Now, what is the task? The task will be need advice. So, pupils, you need to be giving an advice to how um, Fina needs to uh, present his, her English project lively. All right? Yeah. So, now, who wants to give it a try? The best closing line, or sorry, the best opening line to begin your email. And remember, Sean, they are supposed to choose any two from the templates that I just shared on the screen. Yes. So, who wants to give it a try? Anyone? Opening line for the first situation. Over to you. Who can, can that be? Can I try? Oh, okay, Zari. Over to you, Zari. Try. <coughs> oh, you have written it down. That's good. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Show it to us. Okay. Can you re can you please read out your opening line? That's good. Cool. So I will choose two from the sentence. Two from the text. Sorry okay. to hear about the flood incident that happened in your place. However, I'm ecstatic to hear that you will be presenting a mini project on safety precautions after the disaster. Very good, Zarith. Can you please bring a little bit like further because I cannot actually see the screen of your both two sentences. That's a good one. Agree. Double thumbs up. Good job, Zarith. All right, now, who wants to proceed with our closing line? We have our opening line, so now we shall proceed to our closing line. Anyone in the house wants to try? First situation. Can I try, madam? Yes. Okay, go. Over to you, Haris. Ah, show it to us. Oh, I like your handwriting. Hmm, hmm. Okay, proceed. For my closing line, I choose. For my closing line, I choose two from the template. Okay. My closing line is anyway, I should get going. Send my regards to your family. Spot on. A beautiful way, short, clear cut closing line. Do you agree with me, Sean? Yes, very yes. well. Yes. Now, girls and boys, are you excited to write your email to me very soon? Give it tomorrow. Okay, I'll give you my email address later. And Sean too. <laughs> All right. So now, let's go to our second situation, Sean. Mm -hmm. So, second situation will be read by anyone in the house who wants to read the second situation. Just now we had Zarid. How about now? Madam, can I read the situation? Yes, go, cool. Read the second situation, please. Hi, I got an invitation to collaborate on a school project about conservation areas in Malaysia. Okay. I need you to give some information about it. Zura. Thank you, cool. Alaya uh, Zura. Okay, now, Sean, the same thing like what we did just now. Mm -hmm. We have to focus on situation and also task. Now, Sean. Try. What do you hmm. think will be the situation for this second situation, Sean? The situation, hmm. I believe, is hmm. um, well, a collaboration about the uh, conservation areas in Malaysia. All right. Good try, Sean. So for situation, if you ask me, mm -hmm. situation will be something general about the question. Okay. Yeah, you don't specifically go to the task yet, but mm -hmm. you talk about something general that is about the conservation areas. Okay. All right. Now, the task here will be focusing specifically on the information in Malaysia. So we don't talk about other countries, but we focus in Malaysia. All right. Now, who wants to give it a try? to share us your opening line using the templates that I just shared on the screen. Who can that be? Hmm. Can I give a try, madam? Okay, cool. Give me your opening line, cool. For my opening line... Let me see your I mini screen. Let me see your mini screen. Put it up. Put it up. Ah, okay. Right. Further back. Okay, right. Read it out. For my opening line, I will choose two from the templates. Two, good. How are you doing lately? I am overjoyed to hear about your school collaboration project on conservation areas in Malaysia. Very good, cool. But cool, I would prefer you to write I'm overjoyed, Sean. 
because she did not con do contractions for I am. So I would encourage you to just write I'm overjoyed. Okay, cool. That's a good one, cool. Okay. So now let's proceed to the closing line. Who wants to try? Well, obviously Ibnu, right? Ibnu, are you ready? Have you written out your closing line, Ibnu? Ibnu. Yes, we did. Okay, show it to me. Read it out. Go. Hmm. Okay, read out your closing line, Ibnu. For my closing line, I will choose two from the template. Okay. I've, I've got to leave you now. I wish my sharing will help you in your project. That's a very good way of closing your email. Good job, Ibnu. Tepo, well tepo. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. So, Sean, uh, you're yes. done with the first yeah. Uh, yeah. task. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well like. done, everyone. And right now, I think everyone deserves a break. Let's take a short break and be back to you on Lower Form on Data TV KPM. Session. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You are now watching Lower Form or Menengah Rendah on Didik TV KPM. So, shall we continue? Yes, Sean. Sure. Alright. All right. Now, for the next slot, yeah, we are going to go a little bit in depth in their thinking process. Ooh. So, just now we, um, we had another one. So, this one would be more on how to think and to generate their ideas. So, Sean, this slot we are going to discuss on how to incorporate that and mom oh. mom was the colors initially mm -hmm. with yeah. six colors so we have that which will be the main idea to generate the main idea for each paragraph all right so um besides that we are also going to learn how to elaborate the ideas using their keywords keywords for uh sentence for words yeah will be just your verb and agreement yeah, we always play with keywords, Sean. Okay. Now, last but not least, we are going to incorporate that teach mom. Sounds interesting. Mm. We don't have mom teach that. Mm -hmm. We have that teach mom because ah. that's the norm. Okay. Fathers leads. <laughs> 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 All right. So, girls and boys, this will be, of course, I'm sure everyone out there, you're aware of your uh, requirements when it comes to marking of course they should know the content which is C giving them five marks they should know organization O which also gives them five marks yeah um, and of course when you took when you look when you look about organization Sean mm -hmm. it's all about cohesive devices and linking words yeah all right now the next one will be communication achievement now what can you say about communication achievement Sean so look at the slide it is uh, focusing on how pupils out there put together their ideas and how can they possibly do this? Easy. What do they do, Sean? They will just have to use that teach mom. Why? Because by using that teach mom, they will tend to put together their ideas and they will be producing a very well linked paragraph. Okay, last but not least is their language. Well, of course, this covers vocabulary and also grammar. Not to forget language expressions, Sean. That is L-E. Okay, ah. so now let us proceed and get a little bit in depth on the next step. Now, teach here will produce a well-linked five sentences in a paragraph. So what is T as for teach? T, Sean, stands for topic sentence okay well of course everyone out there you're aware that topic sentence will begin every paragraph when it comes to writing so topic sentence here sean and girls and boys out there we have three colors well you're aware of the colors right so you can choose any colors but for the second color should be always green 
So look at the slide. We have color one, we have color two, and color three. Remember, Sean, remember girls and boys, color two must always be green, giving ideas and suggestions. Why is that? That's the reason behind it. That is where you guys are going to grow your ideas. So what is the second sentence? The second sentence will be E. The first E stands for example. Well, how would you write your example, Sean? Easy. Look at the slide, guys. Example will have to grow color one. I'm going to use the word grow here, Sean, because it's only growing where you get to generate the ideas. Ah. So remember, E1, example, grows color one. Now, the next one will be the second E, that is example of analysis. Now, why is it green, Sean? Because example analysis, E2, grows color two. I'm saying this very slow and clear. All right, so color two will be expanded by example analysis. So how would you grow this example analysis? How would you grow this example, Sean? Just by using any one of the three keys that I gave there, how or why or what. So you are free to choose. Now, let's go to the next sentence. How many sentences do we have now here, Sean? Three. Yes. Topic sentence, mm -hmm. example, and example analysis. So yeah. we have two more to go. And what can that be? Now, the fourth sentence will be the third E, that is evidence. What is evidence? Evidence will be the best way to grow your ideas. Wow, this candidate, you really know your ideas very well. And you're good in expanding them effectively. So E, evidence, come from your color three. So, Sean, mm -hmm. E1 yep. grows color one. Okay. E2 mm -hmm. grows color two. Yeah. E3 grows color three. Yeah. Easy, right? <laughs> now, what is the last sentence of the paragraph, people? Of course, C. What is that? Conclusion. So, Sean, how do we conclude each paragraph, Sean? To uh, uh, avoid from dragging the same idea again and again and again. So this is the easy way on how to write conclusion. That is the so what of color one. Read my lips, people. So what of color one. So whatever that they have in color one, they just have to expand and so what of it. All right. So this is a, a brief framework of how your mind works when it comes to generating ideas. So let us just go very quickly, Sean, right. to the situation. Well, this is wonders of nature, people. Let's save the river. So the task is benefits. Now, pupils out there, do you know how to combine and incorporate your situation and your task? Now, let's look at the slides here. So we're going to do this very quickly. Now, that, Sean, mm -hmm. stands for question. So the question written on in the bubble will be how. So how do we save the river? So when you have the question, you must have the answer. So the answer is from topic sentence. Remember, three colors. So let us, let us look at the colors listed on the screen. So the first color represents the first answer. So what is the first answer? It is... Okay, let me just display all the boxes. Huh? So the first color will be... Educate through exposure. Now, the second color is green, where you need to have model verb. It can be can, could, will, would, may, might, should, yeah, and etc. So the answer for this question, can organize river care program. And the third color can be, be a volunteer. So that's a combination of white color, uh, yellow color, and also green color. So having said that, let's proceed to the next E. What is the first E, Sean? Example. Yes. So how are we going to grow example? So the keyword is E1 grows color one. So let us look here. All right. So your E1 will be growing educate through exposure. So I'm going to choose any one of the keys. How, why or what? Look at the blue tag there. E1 grows color one, people. So how are we going to grow that, madam? So look carefully. You're going to choose either how, why, or what. So what's my choice? I'm going to choose what. So what is the question? What is the activity? Activity of what? 
educating through exposure. Can you see the color one? Uh -huh. So you're going to expand the idea. So that gives you an answer, a new answer. So what is it? Go on a walk by a local river. So let us proceed to the second E very quickly, guys. So the second E, E2, grows color two. So let us grow using how, what, and why. And I'm going to choose why. And the question is, why organize program? How did I get the word program? Look at your color too, people. So this is your answer. Why? Need water to survive. So we go to the next E. That is your E2. So E2 will have to grow color 2. E3 will have to grow color 3. So now we have come to E3, Sean. Mm -hmm. So E3 grows color 3. So I'm going to use why. Why do I become a volunteer? Where did I get the word volunteer from, Sean? From color three. Yeah. So we are going to grow it. So the answer is know the importance to people's livelihood. So now we have come to the last part that is conclusion. Mm -hmm. So what did I say just now? Conclusion is so what of color one. Yes. So this is what happens. Look at the slide, people. All right. Okay, I am now in your playground, in your mind, yeah? You're going to play a little bit here and it's fun when you know the technique. Now, what is the conclusion, Sean? The conclusion will be, so what of colour one? So where is your colour one, Sean? Where is it? Colour one, show me the arrow. So there this is the arrow. Yeah. Educate through exposure. And you know why I got the answer, improve quality of life? Because this is how the question goes. So... If I educate through exposure, your color one, what's next? So that is your answer. Improve quality of life. Now, having said that, when you're done, let us just continue adding in all these cohesive devices. Well, I'm sure all of you are aware of this. So add it on in your sentence and start producing your paragraph. So this is what happens. See, topic sentence, we start with language expressions and then we will have our E1. We start with, apart from that, we have our E2, as I see it, language expressions. And the next E for evidence, we start with cohesive devices. Furthermore, and last but not least, your conclusion, therefore. So, Sean, looking at this, mm -hmm. this is your final product wow. of a beautiful one paragraph. And everything started with your dad teach mom. This is your firstborn child <laughs> after that teaches mom. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, that's about it, Sean. Now, what are we going to do next? Next, I want you to look at this paragraph. We have already having all both situation and also task in one paragraph. So, I hope everyone out there, you are still with us. Well, of course, I'm sure you're a little bit like, oh, Amanda, what is this? Bubbles, arrows, and keywords. Try to fall in love with it because there's magic behind it. All right? Okay. So that's about it. So you can see we have language expressions, we have cohesive devices, and we have both situation and task. And voila, welcome to full mark email writing. 20 out of 20. Inshallah. I mean. Wow, okay. Wow, that is amazing. And I like how it's all broken down into a certain formula so that we are able to not only uh, expand our ideas, exactly. have a conclusion within that paragraph, but also fill in that five link sentences to make that beautiful paragraph. Exactly. And right now, we're going to take a short break and back to you on Lower Form on Data TV KPM. <laughs> on the TV KPM for our subject which is English all right shall we continue yes Sean all right now for the next segment we are going to have practices and this is where we're gonna see our friends here whether um, they were on the right track or they must be a little bit confused we'll see about that okay so Sean the yes. next segment we are going to make our friends here 
to execute exactly what I just shared with them just now. Mm -hmm. So we, they are going to decide the main idea. They are going to decide their keywords to generate their ideas using mom with the colors. And later, we are going to make them construct their sentences. And voila, we will see the beauty of one paragraph done by our students within the time frame. All right. So now, let us open up our textbook, people. Go to page 30 or 41. All right. So we are going to focus on our language expressions. We are going to focus on cohesive devices. We have to also add in your linking words. And not to forget, make sure of your situation and task. So this is it, guys. Are you ready? So turn to page 40, Sean. All right. 40, all turn right. to page 40, people. Are you there? So let's look at the question. This is part of an email you got from a friend in England. All right, Sean, can you please read, Sean? I want to hear your voice. Okay, I love sure. your voice, Sean. <laughs> Our teacher, go. Okay, this is the part of an email you got from a friend in England. Mm -hmm. okay. Our teacher has asked the class to write about the things people do to help protect the earth around the world. I want to write about what people do in your country. Can you send me some information? Wow, it's there. That's detail. You need to understand. Good job, Sean. Okay. Your situation mm -hmm. and your task. Now, who wants to try? What do you think is the situation from the question? Anyone out there? Come on, cool. Aris, Iman, Ibnur, who wants to try? What is the situation? Can, from I, can I give a try? Yes, Aris. Come on, go, 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 go. What's the situation? The situation is how people protect the planet. Yes, something general. Good job. Okay, so that is your situation. How about your task? Who wants to try? Madam, I want to try. Yes, cool. Over to you. Give it, girl. Give it to me. Madam, mm -hmm. the task from the question is what people in my country, Malaysia, do to protect the planet. Yes, now we go more specifically in Malaysian context. All right, that's good. So now, let us just try to answer this very quickly, guys. All the four short questions there. So what type of text do you have to write? Of course, it's an, a reply email text. So what will it be about? Of course, just look at your situation. It will be about protecting the planet. The third question, what does your friend need? Look at the task, people. So what is the task? You need to focus on how Malaysians protect Mother Nature. And... Sean, will it be formal or informal, Sean? Hmm. I would say informal. Great, because it's from your friend in England. Yeah. Good job, Sean. So now, girls and boys, are you ready with your screen? Because I want you to tell me first to decide what is your idea, what is your keywords for all the T triple E C. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Girls and boys, if you're ready, show me double thumbs up. Lagging, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so let us begin. Now, we can see here, Sean, so this is like manually displayed so that viewers can see, oh, this is the real thing. So now we will start with the bubble, which is your dad. So who wants to give me the best question for this situation? Who wants to try? What is it? Anyone? Who wants to try giving me your question in the bubble? Anyone? What is the question? Madam, can I try? Yes, yes. I can't hear your voice. Okay, louder, Leah. Can you be a little bit louder, Zari? I choose why. Okay, so he, she chose why. Okay. All right, so what is your question? Why we should protect the planet? Why we should protect the planet? So why we should protect the planet? Okay, Sean. Yes. Students, pupils out there, you can write whatever version, simple version, detail. It just can be a very simple, short question. Okay. As long as you understand the question, that's good enough. All right, that's good, Zari. So why is your dad? So let's go to our answer. Topic sentence has three colors. So come on, who wants to give it a try? Your first color for your topic sentence. Who can that be? Anyone? Can I try, madam? Yes, I okay. Try, madam? Who is that? Who is that? Iman. Okay, Iman. Yes, Iman. 
a little bit like yes. Okay. I will start with my color. Uh -huh. My color is yellow. Yellow. Continue. Yellow represents represent positivity. positivity. Okay. My VA is my stay, VA healthy. stay healthy. Stay healthy. Very good. Okay. Now we shall proceed to the second color. So guys, this is the first one for your topic sentence. First color. So now, second color. Anyone? What's your second color? Remember, second color must always be green with model verb. So who can that be? Go. Can I give a try, madam? Okay, who is that? Cool. Okay, over to you, cool. I will start with my color. Mm -hmm. My color is green. All right. Green represents ideas, solving problem and suggestion. Okay. So what would you suggest? My VA is can avoid pollution. Can avoid pollution. Very good, Sean. Can you see that, Sean? So yes. our friends here, mm -hmm. they are giving us keywords from the color to answer the question from the dot in the bubble here. So that would be your color two. That's good. Now, color three. Who wants to try color three of your topic sentence? Anyone? Can I give a try, Medel? Oh, that sounds like Imno. Okay, over to you, Imno. What's your color? What's your answer? I will start with my color. Mm -hmm. My color is red. Red. Red color represents feeling and emotion. Feelings and emotions. Good. My Spot VA on. is be more grateful. Be more grateful. Good job. Amazing, guys. Okay, so now we have completed our C1, C2 and C3. So now let's grow our colors. Now who wants to start with our E1? What is E1, Sean? E1 example. example. Good yes. job. So now we're going to do E1, people. Mm -hmm. So how do you grow your E1? Who wants to give it a try? Go. Madam, can I try? Yes, Zarif. All right. Over to you, Zarif. Give it to me. It's called E1, grows color one. I like that. E1, grows e. color one. So what is your question? Proceed. I will choose what. What? Okay. What, what to do to stay healthy. What to do to stay healthy. I will start with my color. Mm -hmm. My color is yellow. Mm -hmm. My A is explore nature track. All right. So yellow it is. Explore nature track. So you see, Sean, uh, yeah. our friend here, mm -hmm. they have already expanded and grown the ideas given by color one. So this is your E1 example where you grow, stay healthy, and this is your answer, people. Wow. Explore nature track. Good job. All so right. now let's go to the second E. Example of analysis. Quick. I'm so excited. Proceed. Who wants to try? Can I try, Medel? Okay, Ibnu. Yes, over to you, Ibnu. So you go to the second E. Go. Well, madam, mm -hmm. example analysis E2 grows color 2. Good. E2 grows color 2. I like that. Continue, Ibnu. My question is, why do we do to avoid the pollution? So why do we avoid pollution? Okay, proceed. What's your answer, Ibnu? I will start with my color. Mm -hmm. I will start with my color. Mm -hmm. My color is green. Okay, proceed. My VA is can enjoy the fresh air. Can enjoy the fresh air. Very good. Okay, so now we shall proceed to the next E. Who can that be? Who can that be? The E3. Alright, who wants to continue? Come on. E3. Anyone wants to try? Girls and boys? I think there's a, a Can little bit. Can I try, Madam? Yes, a little bit lagging. Okay, yes, Iman. Over to you, Iman. Iman. 
Okay, proceed Iman. What? Okay, it looks like we're having a... Uh, so what is the question, Iman? What is your question when you grow E3? I believe he's facing some uh, technical difficulties. Maybe you can help him on behalf. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Maybe we can just say, I'm going to choose like how um, to... What? what we do... Okay, I heard that. What we do mm -hmm. to be more grateful. So, Iman chose what? What, okay. All right? So, what do you do to be more grateful? So, what can be uh, your answer? Well, to show you are grateful, um, perhaps you can just like... Um, okay, this is my idea because I can't hear our friends sharing. So, how do you show you're grateful? So, maybe you can say um, support um, school program. Yeah. Oh, yeah, support school program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a good one. All right, guys. Okay, so this one will be the best answer to grow E3. So, what do you do to show that you're grateful? You have to support whatever school uh, organized. Uh, programs on Save the Mother Nature, right? So now, let us proceed to the last one, that is conclusion. So girls and boys, as you know, conclusion will be, so what of your color one? Yes. All right? So remember, guys, it is so what of your color one? Mm -hmm. So who wants to try giving me your conclusion? What is your so what? So, look at my finger. So... If we stay healthy, what's next? So what's the answer? Who wants to try? I want to conclude. Okay, cool. All right, you want to conclude. Okay, over to you, cool. I will start my, with my color. My color is blue. Always blue. Blue represents conclusion, wish, and hope. Okay. Mm -hmm. My BA is have a better life. That's a very good one. Have a better life. It's a, this is the best way on how to conclude your sentence, people. Now, can you see what our friend Ku just did? So this is the so what of stay healthy. So, Sean, yep. if we stay healthy, what's next? Have a, better, have a life. better life. So yeah. having said that, mm -hmm. you have already um, completed your mind mapping before you draft your first paragraph. So now, I'm going to give all of you four behind here one minute precisely to start constructing your sentences using all these VAs. But remember, girls and boys, the best part, Sean, yep. is topic sentence. You know why? This is the easiest. Okay. Because you just need to combine one, two, three. So your one minute starts now, guys. Come on, keep on writing. Right, so here we go. One minute already begun. And for those of you watching at home as well, you can also try and also construct uh, the, uh, the paragraph or the sentences. And maybe we can compare our answers and see how well you have done. Exactly. So, all right. So, okay. of course, combining this into a paragraph, right, teacher? Yes. Uh, so, that means we also have to include our language expressions, Trends, our linking words, linking words and cohesive also, devices. Yes. But not to forget, this mm -hmm. is only one color. Yes. So, please take note, pupils out there, one sentence has to con has to consist of two colors so one sentence mm -hmm. you have two colors so this is color one so you need to add in spontaneously when you write the sentence ah. so spontaneously adding in one more color all right time's up time's so up. show me your sentences people so let us begin with our topic sentence who wants to give it a try show me your sentence show it to me show it to me topic sentence so I think oh, uh, Iman. Iman, okay. I saw yours, yeah. Iman. Okay. All right. Read it out to me. What is your topic sentence? Easy. Iman is doing the easy job because <laughs> he just needs to combine everything. Good job. Very smart, <coughs> like you. Okay, go. Over to you, Iman. So, madam, my topic sentence has three colors: stay healthy, avoid pollution, and be more grateful. Okay. I will start my sentence with the idea from the question in the bubble. Okay. We should, I personally, I want to 
stay healthy and work. and where can avoid pollution and food. Okay, that's good. So Iman has just combined all these three VAs into one sentence and he started with personally I believe and that is your language expression. Good job Iman. So now let's go to the second sentence. Iwan, come on, come on people. Give it to me. Give me your energy. Give me the second sentence. Who wants to try? Show me your sentence. Go. Second sentence. All right. Anyone show me your second sentence, please? It's lagging. Okay, I, can't I hear. think um, maybe uh, I think they're facing some technical difficulties. How yeah. would you answer that? Okay, so thank you, Sean. Mm -hmm. Now, when you construct the second sentence, of course, the first one begins with language expression. So the second one begins with coisy devices. So I should say, besides that, you have to look at the question. Besides that, we can stay healthy by exploring nature track despite enjoying jungle tracking with our family members, perhaps. Yes. So, can you see that I started my second sentence with Goisi devices, besides that, and I also had the linking word despite. So, that is how you construct your second sentence. Now, I'm not sure whether our friends behind here are still having some technical issues, but do you want to try giving me your second E, example analysis? Anyone wants to try? To construct your sentences, would it be Zarif, Ku, Iman, or Ibnu? Okay, I believe their uh, line just, I mean, their internet line is a bit unstable. Maybe we could proceed. Okay, so thank you, Sean. So for the second E, example analysis, now this is I'm going to how to start my third sentence with language expression. So the first one Iman had, personally, I believe. So I'm going to use, the truth is that. Mm -hmm. So the truth is that, we can enjoy the fresh air besides exploring Mother Nature track in your sentence. So you must make sure in every sentence you need to have two colours. Two colours. Not to forget your linking words, your language expressions alternately done together with your cohesive devices. All right. All right? No. Okay. Now, let us proceed to the next E example, mm -hmm. uh, which is your evidence, which comes from support school programme. So this is your language expressions. This is your cohesive devices. You start this with language expressions. And the next one should proceed with cohesive devices. So what else can you start? You can use furthermore, uh, moreover, mm -hmm. in addition, uh, apart from that. So you just need to add in, uh, in mm -hmm. addition, we can support school programs by representing the district or the state to make our school proud. So that is how you are trying to be grateful, to show that you're grateful by combining another one more color to conclude your sentence. So now we have come to the last part mm -hmm. that is your conclusion. Yes. So we're going to use therefore or maybe uh, any ideas of closing your paragraph. So therefore, we can have a better life to appreciate um, the mother earth and let us all stay united and show our thankfulness all right so that's how you are going to construct all these five sentences and what our friends just did just now yeah uh, despite the technical issues well we have come to the end which ha is having one paragraph of five sentences and where do they come from they come from here, Sean. The draft with your dad. Teaches. Teach or mom. Teach mom. And what is teach there? T E E C. Thank you. All right. That is, of course, an amazing formula to create a perfect paragraph. And right now, we're going to take a short break and be back to you for Low Form on the TV KPM. No, because I need a web.
Class <laughs> is now back in session. You are now watching Lower Form on Dinate TV KPM. Let's continue. Yes, okay, Sean. Now, girls and boys, let us share your learning points. Now, what can you say to give me your learning points of what we have done today, the whole segment? So, who wants to give it a shot? Share us what you have learned today. Anyone, go. Can I share mine, madam? Yes, Iman. I miss your voice. Okay, go. Today, I can understand better on how to grow idea with T triple E C. Wow, T triple E C. Hashtag T triple E C. Yes, you have learned how to generate ideas using that T triple E C mom. That's good, Iman. Spot on. So, let us have the second one to share me your learning points. Who can that be? Come on. Anyone? I have to share mine, madam. Okay, cool. Share me yours. Today, I learned how to write good opening and closing line with good expressions. Very good. You have learned opening line and closing line with good expressions. Spot on. So, how about the third one? Any sharing? Can I have the third one, please? Madam, can I share mine? Yes, Zarif. What can you say? So today, madam, I've discovered how to link the ideas of colors using linking words and conjunctions in one sentence. Yes, you must have two colors, not to forget your linking words and conjunctions. Spot on, Zarif. So, Ibnu, you're the only one left. Can you share me what you have learned today, Ibnu? Yes, madam. Yeah. Today. Today. I am more confident to grow my sentence with two color. Exactly, you sound confident. You know how to grow your sentence with two colors using your mind. Good job. So, G double O D J O B, Sean. Good, Good job. job. Good job, people. All, <laughs> All right, right, Sean. Yes. So, as for the conclusion, mm -hmm. now this goes to my conclusion for my lesson. Mm -hmm. So, girls and boys, this is it. Today, all of my students, pupils out there, you have been able to communicate with appropriate language form and style by writing two sentences for both opening line and closing line. Remember? Yes. And last but not least, you also have learned how to begin using formal and informal. Well, obviously, today we did informal email writing, a registration, a registering appropriate to the target audience in familiar situations by completing both situation and task in one paragraph. And the best part is you are going to nail this within 30 minutes of email writing. Yes, that's, that's right. Good job. So performance-wise, you have done superb. I'll give you like five stars, plus five stars, and plus five stars. The wow. the Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. Well done, everyone. And in case if you want additional exercises or enhancement mm -hmm. exercises, where can I get it from? Well, of course, you can get it from Sumba. Um, Sumba Koo, right? Sumba Koo, yeah. exactly. Yes. All right. So Stay tuned, people. That's right. Thank you so much, Teacher Farah or Madam Farah, for the lesson today. And hopefully, it's been beneficial to, uh, beneficial to all of you. And uh, just as a closing for our lesson today, I believe that Madam Farah will be reciting a poem. Yes, I'll be reciting a poem, but I'll be referring to the script because <laughs> I haven't got time to memorize it. So enjoy this beautiful piece of art to save our mother nature. All right. Being denial, smiling while they are breaking down the world. How do you bear standing so still, so quiet, while the insects are crawling under the skin? This green earth is going to be deserted, destroyed, and I'm truly devastated. If I don't say this, someone else will. But the earth is essential for positivity and yes, for the future generation. Everyone must cooperate before it's going to be too late in saving our beloved planet while 
we still can. Come on guys, let's get together. Let's empower our minds to go beyond the lines in seeking for ways to preserve our lives for the future of the world lies in our hands.